All right, here we go. Goo TV presents Stream the Insanity. This is ses session six of Darksiders 2 on Apocalyptic Difficulty. Stream the Insanity is a show where we take difficult games, games on their hardest difficulty, and do some general achievement and trophy whoring. Last time, we uh, saw a little bit of Kingdom of the Dead, played around in the lair of the deposed king, and made it uh, up to up to and through the eternal throne standing at the gates of the gilded arena this time around we're going to actually leave those gates backtrack do a little bit of uh, side questing because well I don't have a ton of time for this session so we're gonna get done what we can get done but with that story so far this is the tale thus far. In the Dead Kingdom, a tale of a merchant shrouded in mystery and smoke. A bell rang, a throne roared skyward. But death could not meet its lord. Uh, that is making reference uh, to my next task, which is to go into the Gilded Arena, prove my worth, so I can talk to the Chancellor. However, like I said, we're not going to do that. There's definitely a couple of side quests that are sitting out there. Not terribly difficult stuff, but uh, hopefully it'll make for some reasonably good video as we see maybe where some of these pieces might be. Uh, not doing the collectible stuff. That's, uh, that's just a little bit too, mm, I don't know, intensive at this point. Plus, I, I really don't want to spend a ton of time <coughs> going back and doing that now because let's say there's two collectibles in a given area. I go back with my death grip, which allows me to get one, but I'm missing some other traversal piece, which would allow me to get the second. hate having to do that twice, so... Uh, we're going to do the ones that I'm fairly certain that we can complete right now. Which might actually not be that much. But whatever. Like I said, don't have a ton of time tonight. So we'll do what we can to progress the stuff that we would have progressed anyways. So we're going to head back to the Forge Lands because Muria? Muriel? Sorry, I don't exactly remember her name. I believe she gives another quest that we didn't, uh, we have not picked up and I think that's becomes available after a point that I think I'm past I don't know might be wrong on that if I am doesn't matter so much there's some other stuff that we can do <coughs> and all sorts of nice fast traveling I do wish that you could just fast travel from a point in one realm to a point in another realm. But what can you do? Beggars cannot be choosers. <laughs> well, yes, Animated. I am streaming tonight. <laughs> I uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to. Had to put the podcast together, get it all edited and posted no, it's not out yet, <laughs> but uh, had to get it scheduled to post this Sunday because I'm actually going out of town. I'm going to go for a nice relaxing weekend at the cabin, which should be nice. Just to get away, unplug for the weekend would be kind of nice. So I am happy that I was able to do a little bit of this, but that does also contribute to why I have a limited amount of time. So good stuff. Thanks for stopping out. Give me a quest, please. You saved our realm, Ryder. And for that, you have my gratitude. But only time will tell if your path leads into darkness or if it leads out. Why build constructs? Make us seem sturdy enough. Even we must eventually pass from this life. But our spirits are far too ancient to be drawn to the dead city. We must instead become one with the forest. Or take up a body of stone. 
constructs are dead makers. You think there would be more of them? Once there were many constructs in the halls of the Stone Father, but corruption has claimed most of their number, and ours as well. I searched for a way to give life to stone without sacrificing the soul of the maker. But I cannot say that life is what I gave my creation. Something went wrong. The construct was consumed by fire. Rage boiling up from the abyss. It killed one of our young ones and fled into the charred pass. I do not wish to see my creation destroyed, but it must not harm anyone else. I need you to kill it. Dun, dun, dun. You had trouble raising weeds. Why create a construct? We are a people of stone, born of the fires beneath the earth. I captured a spark from the heart of the Stone Father to bring my creation to life. But it wouldn't stop burning. And soon, his pain turned to rage. I've slain constructs before, Shaman. How will I know when I've killed yours? He has taken to calling himself Gorn. The word I know not, but I sense it is ancient, a word of fire. It wells up from within him and spells onto the earth. Fire or blood, I will drain him of both. <laughs> Man, I love Michael Wincott in this role. <laughs> so fantastic. As you reap, I will sow. All right, so we picked up the Spark of Life quest, uh, and I do intend to do that. However, we're going to go somewhere else first. A while ago, I picked up a quest from a construct named Orin, who wants me to get the rest of his pieces. That is a Sticks and Stones quest right here. So I happen to look up the general area where they are. So we're going to run around a little bit. Maybe we'll get some collectibles on the way, but uh, mostly we're just going to be looking for big chunks of stone fellers. And we don't particularly know what the rewards of any of these are, but we'll find out. Something we got to do anyway. Want that platy. I picked up one of them already in the fjord. Uh, so that's on some video not too long ago. I seem to remember it being not very far from it, and I happened to notice it uh, shortly after picking up the quest. So now I just have to remember where I'm supposed to go. I'm just going to ignore these guys because I don't particularly care. Okay, let's actually take a quick look at the map there might be um, potential obvious point there potential point there potential point there who knows maybe it's out in the middle but we'll uh, we'll at least run in those general directions first oh well I see something to collect up here at least yay more of those tokens which I haven't found not nah. That's wrong. I've found a use for them. I haven't chosen to use them yet. Oh, good lord. You're going for the platinum on Metal Gear 4? That's just ridiculous. I'm sorry. Eight playthroughs of that game. I did not find that interesting enough to even bother trying to attempt that. Oh, well, we found something else up here that we can uh, grab. Guess we'll fight these annoying guys first. Yes, you're level two. This is a joke. Run away, weakling. We never did go back. No, that's not the right button. Never did go back to actually collect these in the areas prior to getting the gun. Um, but uh, whatever, we can pick up what we can pick up now. Where the hell am I? Bainswood. Okay. Like I said, keeping track, or like I said on previous uh, <coughs> videos, keeping track of where I've collected stuff just to make that job for me easier later on. To the best of my knowledge, there's not anything that tells you uh, where any 
of these collectible items are. Like, there's no item that you pick up, for example, that gives you that piece of information. So I have to keep track of it on paper. Fairly common practice uh, for me. Oh, get away from me. Please. Uh, hmm. Okay. Oh, yes, we're looking for big stone guys. And potentially something else that I may have missed. Oh, well, there's a little grabby spot. I suppose we should check that out. I think that's going up over here. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna block me. Yay, vendor fodder. <coughs> I vaguely recall this. Actually, there's a uh, page of the Book of the Undead down below that. Um, or right behind that statue there. I think that's insane, dude. I really do. <laughs> Ooh, critical damage. That's might be worth something later on. Excuse me. Hmm, give me that. Anything to shoot. Still. Wow. I get a loading screen for calling despair. That's kind of saddening. Okay. I have not seen any big feller parts, so I don't know. Is this still considered Bane's Wood in this direction? I just wrote down the general areas. Yeah, I guess so. Haven't haven't seen it lap over in anything else yet. Keeping our eyes peeled for stones as well as big stone. Bottle or body parts. Oh, dear, are you kidding me? No way. I feel like I shouldn't aggro guys 11 levels lower than me, but at least they don't distract too much. <coughs> hmm. I'm curious why it forced me off of despair. I wonder if this ends up being something later on. Oh! Oh, 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 I see you. <clears throat> I do not, however, see big stone feller parts. <laughs> One swipe. I love it. Okay. Ooh, eerie music. Hey, this looks like big stone feller parts. Can it still technically call me in Baneswood right now? Yeah, I guess so. Even though I'm drastically closer to the S in Charred Pass than Baneswood. All right, whatever. Good enough. <laughs> Hop away, foot. Hop along. Uh, we'll take a look in here, see if there's anything. I do not remember well enough as to what... Oh, well, looky here. Okay, seriously, what am I hitting? <laughs> well, fine, I'll go up your stupid way. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, there has been a cold going around my house that I just cannot seem to kick between my children and me. An unfortunate thing. I don't remember if I've already opened whatever's here, but we're going to take a look around anyway. Yeah, I don't see anything. 
Okay. I must have already gotten whatever <laughs> might have been hidden here. Probably a treasure chest or something. I don't honestly recall. Yeah, it, you know, I'm, I'm not really judging when I was making jokes about Metal Gear. I just... For me, I, I don't think I could stomach that much Kojima. What am I doing here? Got a different place to go. We're off to the Shadow Gorge. Now, where is that? I don't actually recall. Shadow Gorge. I think we'll start from the Shattered Forge. That's probably closer. <coughs> Yeah, I don't blame you at all, man. Uh, one of the coolest parts uh, about finding a game you truly love is having those nice little badges, trophies, achievements, something you can not necessarily show off or brag about, but more so just be like, hey, look, I've seen everything that this game has to offer. That's why I'm such a fan of that system. If I had more time, I am sure that I would spend... Uh, I would spend a lot of effort on on those things more than I, I I always have the tendency to want to do it but it never quite makes it there oh for the love I suppose I could just kill these things with my gun right yeah that's a worthwhile endeavor. Okay, where am I in the Shadow Gorge? I do not... Uh, I have no clue of where this is in here, but I'm guessing since I'm almost to the fjord that it's going to be back behind me. <coughs> so, despair. Ride me to Big Stone Feller parts. Like I said before, I have no idea... Is that it just up ahead here? Looks like it might be. I have no idea what I'm actually going to get for this. Might really not be worth it. But it is one of the 17 side quests that are required. So for, for the trophy at least. So from that standpoint, it's worth it to me. leaves one and if I'm not mistaken it happens to be in the same direction of where I need to go for that side quest I just picked up let's take a quick look see see if there's a nice waypoint for that and then uh, we'll know for sure hello here Is my game fr game freeze what is going on oh no it totally did Oh, boo. Well, stand by. That is so totally unfortunate. I really hope that it didn't uh, backtrack too much of my stuff or hose up my save. Man, that was bullshit. Burns is right. I just wanted to look at the map. Isn't that cool? This game is not without some technical problems. However, I haven't had too many, like, hard freezes like that. Maybe. Actually, I think that might be my first. I don't recall. Well, I know it didn't happen on stream, and I haven't really... 
I mean, I've looked at, like, skill trees and quest stuff outside of the stream, but I haven't actually played it at all. Well, it has me in the Shadow Gorge, so hopefully that means I didn't lose too much. This is the tale I know, thus far. I know the tale. We all know the tale. In the Dead Kingdom, a tale of a merchant shrouded in mystery and smoke. A bell rang, a throne roared skyward. But death could not meet its lord. Uh, okay. Am I standing right where it was? I think so, right? Thank you for not freezing this time. <clears throat> yeah, I have to be right where I was standing, pretty much. I mean, I don't know. Well, I suppose I could probably check this, right? Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, show me where that is. Yeah, it's down in the scar, and that's where I want to go anyway. Yeah, the more efficient way would have done would have been to do Shadow Gorge and then Baneswood and Shard Pass and uh, whatever. Anyway, let me see here. Make sure that I. Oh, that's not what I want. Wandering stone, that's it. Yeah, it looks like I still have the three pieces, so it must have got that. Thankfully, that was the last thing that I really did, so... I should have all of those stone bites that I picked up. It always makes me nervous. When something like that happens, I'm waiting for it to happen in the middle of a in the middle of an autosave and have it just hose up 12 hours of effort. Are you kidding me? I fast travel and the thing is right in front of me. That is rough. Why is my controller vibrating? Oh, because there's a meteor shower. Now the question is, is do I go back and see what I get or press on and do this other side quest? And I'm thinking that I press on and do the other side quest since I am right here. <clears throat> I'm going to take a quick look-see around just in case there's something that stands out as shootable in the way of a stone. I'm not seeing anything, so... Nothing in the immediate area. I do remember coming to this place and being locked out because of that, uh, because of that, um, swinging point right there. So, obviously don't have that problem now. That must, I would guess. Yeah. Yes, I would like you. Obviously... That must have been the prerequisite for getting the quest from Mur Muriel. But, uh, I guess I don't know for certain. Well, I found the Mad Construct's home. Now I am tasked with killing him. Hopefully he's not nearly as bad as the deposed king. So we'll see what happens. Just taking a quick look-see around, see if there's anything else. That looks like it might be something kind of stands out as a very odd color. Look at that. Fantastic. Put your damn gun away so you can run normal. <clears throat> Alright, boy, let's see what you got. Mm, guess we got a um, dungeon, mini dungeon. You really hide another? Oh no! The treasure chest on my map. I just assumed it was below. Is it not? Did I just jump too early? Well, there's a point right there to grab onto. Uh huh. I just went down the wrong way. Hmm. 
meh. Sellable though, and for some reason those talismans sell for a hell of a lot, even when they're really worthless. So I probably shouldn't complain too much about that. The scar. Hmm. will crush you. We'll see. Well, that wasn't very nice of you at all. guys aren't super weak anymore. Slicey, slicey. Higher damage scythe. Health per kill. I don't recall. Do I have that on my... Now every time I hit this button, I'm afraid that the game's going to lock up on me. I don't recall if I have health on kill. Oh, I do. I wonder. Let me see that health. Ooh, there's a plus to health on crit there. Ooh, more health on crit. All right. Yeah. Let's make these things a little better. Fantastic. <coughs> I think we want the health on crit. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take a quick look see since we're in here anyway. Hmm. Well, those are the same defense, some extra strength. Yeah, I think we will take that. Like me some strength bonuses. Hmm. All right, pressing on. Uh, I'm level 13 right now. And I do not mind you asking at all. This whole point in having uh, chat up there. I like community interaction. <coughs> oh, totally didn't see that folder. Alright. Hmm. He's got some health. We can go down that way, but I moved kind of quick, so let's just take a quick look, see, see if we see anything else. I'm guessing no. <laughs> hmm. Very ominous when nice gates close behind you like that.
This is gonna be not very nice. No, death. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's try to not have that happen. Skip. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Oh. Me. I don't like to go down. Okay, this is gonna hurt. There are buttons, and when you press the right ones at the right time, you tend to win. I, however, did not. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. Let's try this. Third time's charm, right? Yeah. Skip, please. I wonder if I'm actually afforded any extra time for skipping that. I'm guessing not by how quickly that seems to raise. making much better time than last time. Oh, jump. Ooh. No. Go. No. Idiot. Seriously. Man, every time you want to go up, you have to just dead stop before you can do it. You just can't rock like that and that mm. Mm. Grumble. It's the one thing that seems to be a little bad with the traversal in this game is just that you end up running off the wrong way or jumping up in the wrong direction just because you tried to do something quickly. Which means that the fact that it's asking me to do this quickly is kind of an annoyance. Hopefully it won't matter too much. I'll get it one of these times, I'm sure. <laughs> See? Seriously, that time you're gonna do the right direction. No, go left, you flippin' moron. Hmm. This is starting to piss me off. Pretty sure that was the last tail end of it, too. Slow down, Scott. Breathe. Woosa. Woosa. Yes, I get it. You're angry. Stop. Up. Go up. Thank you. Straight up. To the right. Stop. Down. Right. Stop. Up. 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 Right, left, up, hey, look at that, patience prevails, well, we got a couple options of where we can go next, let's take a look at the map. <coughs> Looked like one of those doubled back on itself. Yes. I think. Evidently I've been there before. Hmm. Uh, I 
Evidently, I was in part of that room before, I guess. Yeah, we'll see what's off in that direction first, I guess. Hmm. Interesting that it would pick that one. Get out of the corner, please. Thank you. That was not really the direction I intended to dodge in. I can't tell what... Hmm. Ooh. This is not my night. Not my night. Really no reason to be using health potions in these fights, but... I don't know what happened. Maybe I need more aiming juice. Let's try this. <coughs> All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Ah, oh, not fast enough on that one. Oh, you jag off. Wait, what level does this do? Oh, 17. Oh, that might be a problem. bit unfortunate. Hmm. I don't think I... I cannot. Yeah, yeah who figures. Shut up. I get it. Uh, whew. Question time. Worth continuing with enemies four levels higher than me or... Or continue main storyline instead. What time is it? Got some time. Eh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna wuss out. To take me back to the start, I believe. Hmm. to this place. Oh, he knocked me down, right. Okay. I was like, this doesn't feel right, but it's the exit. Sorry. My apologies. Yeah, okay, I guess we'll turn in that side quest to Orin and then we'll uh, go back to the main quest line for a little bit. It's perhaps not the best of decisions. I thought, I assumed it would be uh, closer in line with what I, why, why am I doing this? Let's just warp. Um, I thought it would be closer in line with uh, <coughs> with where I was at. No. Oh. Can I set this as active? Yes. No? Okay. I don't remember where Orin is. I want to say he was somewhere over here, right? Oh, he's right there. What do you know? Okay, so back to the fjord. Hmm. I honestly thought that would be more in line with uh, where I'm at, so my apologies. I wonder why those fights were seeming unreasonably difficult. Just felt like I wasn't doing a lot of damage. Hey, where am I going? Felt like I wasn't doing a lot of damage for enemies that I was used to killing a, a little quicker than that, so that definitely explains it at least. Okay, Sarasara. 
Oh, my eyes are playing tricks on me. I thought I saw a stone bite. Stone there. I don't care about you guys. Try and follow me, you vile creatures. I'm a fast swimmer. <coughs> That's Valgrim. This is Orin. Huh, yes. There's a lot more pieces lying around for Orin now. Here goes nothing. That's seriously it. Seriously? Okay. Sorry I'm boring you, Orin. My bad. Should be seeing side quests like six? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. It matches. I am satisfied. <coughs> I don't know if that was necessarily worth it. <laughs> well, I mean, at least it's some experience. And like I said, we got to... Uh, we got to blah, 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 do it anyway. So, so I guess we're going back to the realm of the dead. Kingdom of the dead. A little bit off tonight. Might be the rum and cokes. <coughs> well, I have no idea how long the Gilded Arena is. Hopefully it's not too long. I do have to drive several hours tomorrow, so it would be nice to not have to be up terribly late. But, I mean, priorities. Those Darksiders, come on. I'm also going to stop and see if Ostagoth, I think that's his name, Ostagoth is on this side of the world. I saw him over at the Eternal Throne at the end of the last video, but it didn't appear like I could hand him relics, and I picked some up, so I'm kind of curious to see what the end result of those are. Um, since it's a collectible fetch quest, I guess it wouldn't surprise me if there were immediate gains for it. Did I miss him? Maybe around here somewhere normally? Or at the start? <coughs> hmm. Okay. Maybe not. Trainer advanced moves. Well, I think that's the guy, so. Alright, well. We'll travel there and maybe maybe he'll allow me to hand him over then, I thought. Hmm. I guess I am confused. I might just be mystifying myself. Okay. Okay. I not see him over that way. <coughs> Ah, he was hiding behind creepy ghoul-looking guy. Please, please. Take a look. Okay. I guess I... Sell this relic to Ostagoth for your reward. Okay, so it's not a... I actually have to sell them to him. Sell this item to Ostagoth for a large reward. Okay, well, let's see what these yield us. Okay, 6,000 for... Oh, I must have sold both of them at the same time, so 3,000 apiece for that. What about this? Ooh, 
That's cool. That is quite exciting. Let's, uh, ah, wrong button. This button. Hitting too many buttons. So many buttons. So, ah, Blarg. We want more life gaining from <coughs> the murder, so we're going to bump that up yet again. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with my skills at that point. Uh, maybe this taunt. I was trying to. I was thinking that I would get to that. Yeah. Get extra wrath on the way. Yeah, we're still going to stick with our plan of more health for them, the crows. And then, yeah, I also wanted to check the quests just to make sure that what I'm seeing is what I expect. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Well, that is awfully neat. Mm. Is there a fast travel point that will make this faster? Well, that is pretty slick. Three grand for the two Goths and a skill point for the Kagoths. I think there's five of them. That's pretty badass. Pretty, um, well, generous, really. All right, I think before we do this, I'm going to take a break. So stick around. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> 